What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodeMe.com and in this video, we're going to work on the stand and the dealer cards for our blackjack game with PyQt5 and Python. Alright guys, like I said in this video, we're going to work on the stand button and dealing out dealer cards. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. It's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to work on the stand button and then dealing out dealer cards after that. So you can see, uh, you know, I did a thing here. I hit stand. Here it says player wins. It dealt out more cards. If we look at this again, we can see, okay, I've got 14. Maybe it'll want to hit me. Oh, I busted. Let's try it again. Oh, I got blackjack. Let's try it again. All right, I've got 18. That's a good hand. I want to stand. The dealer has 19, though. So if we stand, we see up. Oh, the dealer has 19. The player has 18. The game has determined that the dealer wins. And we could play again here. And if I stand here, uh, again, the dealer wins. Let's see if we can play around with this here and get something different. Uh, Okay, so you can see here the dealer has 22, the player has 18, so the player wins. And you'll notice that the game keeps dealing out cards while we do this. Very quickly though, before we get into that, I want to follow up on the announcement that I had yesterday. My new Python book is almost out. It should be out in the next week or two at Amazon.com and Kindle, paperback and hardcover. If you want to be notified as soon as that comes out, head over to Codemy.com slash Python book and enter your email address here. An email will get sent to you. Be sure to click the link to confirm. And then everybody that signs up here will be entered into a little sweepstakes. I'll pick a winner that gets a free Code of Me membership, $198 value, as well as a PDF copy of the new book. Second place winner will just get the PDF copy of the book. The rest of you will just be notified when the book is available on Amazon. So it's an intro to Python book. Should be a lot of fun. And uh, check it out if you're interested in that. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other PyQt5 videos in the series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got a file called blackjack underscore six dot pi. This is just the code from our last video that was blackjack underscore five dot pi. I've just renamed it blackjack six. So the first thing we need to do is come down here and we've got this stand button. But here in our click button section here, we're not actually doing anything with it. So let's add the functionality of clicking the button here. So let me just copy and paste that, rename this to stand button, and then let's call the stand function. Now we don't have a stand function yet, so we're gonna have to go ahead and create that. So uh, let's say stand, and let's define stand. We wanna pass in self, and that should be good. Okay, so what do we want to do here? Well, the first thing we want to do is disable all the buttons, right? So as soon as you stand, you don't want the player to be able to get more cards later. So we have to disable the button to get more cards. I'm just going to come down here to where we did that somewhere else. There it is. And I'll just kind of copy this, paste that in. There we go. Next, we need to sort of determine what the score is at the moment. Now, in other parts of the code, we have kind of, you know, added up scores and stuff, but I want to go ahead and just redo all that right here just to make sure we have the most up to date one. So uh, let's set our player totals to zero and our dealer totals to zero. Next, let's get the player's score. We're also going to need the dealer score, but we're going to need the player score as well. So let's go for score in self dot player underscore score. We just want to go self dot player underscore total plus equals score, right? And this player total is just the player total that we've set at zero when this whole function started, right? Okay. So we also want to get the dealer score, right? So let me just kind of copy this guy, paste it in again. But instead of player score, obviously, this is going to be dealer score. And instead of player total, this is going to be dealer total. Okay. So we've got all the stuff now. So now we just sort of need to do some logic and make some decisions. So in blackjack, if the dealer has 17 points or above, they have to stand, right? They have to stay. They can't get any more cards. If they have below 17 points, so 16 points, 15, 14, whatever, then they have to get another card. So that's basic logic. We can write that in here. And uh, that's what we're going to do now. So let's go if self.dealer underscore total is greater than or equal to 17, then we want to do some stuff. So the first thing we need to check if they have 17 cards or above is if they busted or not. So let's check for bust, right? So let's go if self.dealer underscore total 
is greater than 21, well, then we bust, right? So I'll just put bust for now. L if, let's test some other things. So let's say if self.dealer underscore total equals self.player total. Well, that's obviously a tie, right? So we'll have to do something there. L if self.dealer underscore total is greater than self.player total. Well, then the dealer wins. So else, if they haven't busted and they haven't tied and they haven't won, well, that must mean that the player wins. So here we could say player wins, right? Else, so if they have 17 or above, we wanna do a bunch of stuff. Otherwise, the dealer needs another card, right? So if they have less than 17 points, then automatically they have to get another card. So how do we do that? Well, we'll just call self.dealer hit, which we created a few games ago. And then after they've gotten a card, we just wanna you know, run this whole function again. So we'll just run this function again, because hey, we've got a new card. We need to figure out, hey, what's the new score? Run through this whole list of things of checking if they won or if they busted or if they tied, et cetera. And then again, once it goes through there the second time, if these conditions haven't been met, it'll deal out another card and call this function again. So, okay, so far so good. Now, all we need to do is figure out what we wanna do inside of each of these ifs and lfs here. So, all we really wanna do is, for now at least, throw up a message saying you won, you tied, you busted, whatever. So, let's come down here and let's just sort of look for a message. Here's one, I'm just gonna copy it bring it back up here. And so let's do the bust one first. So here, let's say bust or player wins, right? And let's create an F string here. And inside of here, let's put the actual totals. So on the message box, it'll show the scores. So here, I'm just going to say player wins. And then dealer has, and then let's put something here and then say player has and then put something here. What do we want to put inside of these things? Well, we want the self.dealer underscore total and the self.player underscore total. Okay, so let me copy this whole thing. And now let's do the tie one, right? So here, instead of saying player wins, let's say tie. And then here, let's say it's a tie, woohoo, <laughs> whatever. Okay, and then here, let's do the dealer wins. So here we'll say dealer wins. And then here we'll say dealer wins. The rest of this will stay the same. And finally, otherwise the player wins. And we could just keep it like it is, player wins, player wins. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and save this and run it. I'm in my C PyQt5 directory. I've got my virtual environment turned on. Let's run Python blackjack underscore six dot pi. And when we do, okay, this is 16 versus 16. Let's go ahead and stand. Uh oh, 20. So the dealer wins, the dealer has 20. That looks like that works. Let's start over again. Eight, nine, 10, 11 versus 15. Ah, let's go ahead and stand. Hey, 21, the dealer wins again. Okay, let's keep trying this here. 13, let's hit me. 16, all right, let's go ahead and stand. Uh oh, the dealer has 18, they win again. We're not good at this. Okay, here we go, seven and 10, let's hit me. Ah, 14, 15, 16, 17, all right, let's go ahead and stand. Dealer wins again, man, I am bad at blackjack, apparently. Uh, hit me, so this is 13, hit me again, 16. Ah. Dealer wins again, all right, well, hey, we finally won, blackjack, all right, so. So this is 11, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so let's stand here. Player wins, dealer has 23, they busted, and the player has 20. Fantastic, so this looks like it works. Now, a couple of things here. We haven't changed the dealer's hand to change aces from 11s into ones, we'll have to do that. We also haven't built in the functionality of either player or dealer getting five cards and automatically winning if they don't bust, because that's a rule in blackjack. Also, you'll notice here, every time we click the shuffle button, it starts over and our card and our entire deck is reset. We probably don't want that. We probably want to just keep playing, you know, after you've won or lost and keeping the same deck. So we'll fix that in the next couple of videos. But uh, yeah, so far so good. We are coming right along. The dealer is just killing me here. <laughs> so, ooh, here's a good one.
Player wins. So anyway, pretty simple. And uh, that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube 50 to get 50% off membership. So it's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.